Spooksy Podcast. I'm Melanie Miller, and we are joined by... Brendan Jeffrey on. It's so great to be here, oh, Mel. Brendan, you break all the stories here at TMZ. Yeah, but you're our well-informed Taylor Swift. We're, you keep me more up-to-date on Taylor than anyone. That makes me happy. We're, I, I love we're lucky to have you. We're lucky to have him. He's going to break down a lot of stuff for us today. We have so much to talk about. Inside scoops. Uh, first of all, we got a lot of breaking news. Taylor is in the Bahamas with Travis Kelsey, where she also went with Joe Alwyn and potentially Calvin Harris. Can you wrap your head around that? She is a vacation no. repeater. I'd be so pissed if I was Travis. Would you? A little bit. Would you? Why? Mm. I mean, those are your exes. Yeah, but if you know a good spot, you know a good spot. So right. basically, okay, basically, Taylor and Travis jetted off mm -hmm. after their date night to the Bahamas. They are, Charlie Neff figured this out, at the Valentine's Resort and Marina Harbor Island. Um, so the guy, Celeb Jets, was keeping track of the jet. Um, apparently it was chartered to the Bahamas. And then Dumois found a photo on this harbor of the two of them walking clearly looks like them. It definitely looks like them. And it tracks because the flight left from L.A. Burbank. Mm -hmm. So and she always goes out of Burbank when she flies. I thought she goes out of Van Nuys. Burbank and Van Nuys. Okay. She bounces between the two. Anyways, okay. we found the flight on the tracker, too. I'm screaming. And you can see it landed there in the island. They've been there for, I feel like it's getting close to a week now. Yeah. Um, And I, I know from someone that I spoke to that they're for sure coming back to L.A. after this trip. Unless they change up their plans, because we're revealing it here now. <laughs> um, they're supposed to come back to L.A. after this trip. Oh, how long are they going to be in the Bahamas? We don't know specifically how long, but we know they are still there. Okay. The time of us recording this. Yes. So they're enjoying this vacation. I mean, this is their first like vacation where they can actually be away and not like they're not working. Both of them aren't working. Like I feel like even when she went to see him at the games, he's stressed, he's tied down, he's, he's on the field. They're not spending a ton of like one on one time together. They are, but they aren't. This it's like they can actually like really like let loose and have a good time. What are the chances? Maybe this is left field. Does he propose on this trip? I think he does. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, I mean, I know you want them to get engaged so bad. I do. But you, as you know, I've been hearing for a long time that people close to them just don't think it's going to happen. Okay, so people online have yeah. been very upset about this and you have started like a war in the Swifty community uh -oh. online because this was your report originally. Right, with the fact that people truly Close to them just don't see an engagement happening. Why? After everything we know, I, why? I think I think it's it, it is moving very fast. Okay. Now listen, you know Taylor better than anyone, I so hope. school me if you have to. Okay. But isn't this relationship moving a lot faster than past relationships, or is it maybe because of the fact that her relationship with Joe Alwyn, her last relationship, was so private? Yeah. So we didn't see. Because even that, I know there was, like, reports that they had had, like, a marriage or some kind of private engagement, mm -hmm. which which they uh, said her no. publicist later came out and, and denied. Right. Um, Here's the thing. This is my thought. Is like, sh they're both 34. Mm -hmm. um, Travis clearly wants kids. He right. sees, like, his nieces and nephews. I think when you're to that age and, like, time is ticking and you're ready to have a family, I think things progress so much quicker because you're ready for the things that you weren't when you're in your 20s. We can't compare a relationship where you're grown adults in your 30s to a ridiculous relationship you have in your 20s. Here's the other thing that makes me wonder, like, just thinking about the engagement. If they were to get engaged, you know, anytime now in the foreseeable future— She's on this tour for like what the next year. But why can't she be engaged and be on a tour? Well, when are they gonna, when are they gonna have time to celebrate and engage or go on like a honeymoon? You know, between wouldn't she want to do it like after the tour's wrapped in like a year? See how the next year goes in their relationship. Here's the thing: Taylor and Travis's life is never gonna slow down, and you have to live in the moments, and you have to grab life by the horns. And I think that they really talk about how they're two people that just enjoy life. They love life. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't feel like they're like, oh, let's find the perfect time. And I do feel like they're spontaneous. I think you should look into all your sources. And see. And see if this was a proposal trip. Okay. Because, like, well, what? Where, where they never get private time mm -hmm. together. 
They never get to hang out just the two of them without any cameras. And we did see video, which we uh, have you been able to confirm whether the video of the two of them in the water in the water are them or not? No. How come? Because people are not telling me. <laughs> I need you. I honestly think that people close to them really want them to just enjoy this trip. Okay. And they're not trying to, they're trying to keep it as private as possible. Yeah. Which, okay, I get it. Yeah. But then there's also you and all the Taylor and Travis fans hey. that want to know. Ravaged. Right. But the other thing, I mean, listen, the Bahamas is a very, the place they're at, the island they're on. Tell us. Very romantic. Okay. How so? Lenny Kravitz has ties to it. What was it? It's like his he has an airstreamer. His, his, he has like a resort there or something. He has like an airstreamer. That's with, where she stayed with Joe, Joe which right. they're not going to do again. But like, I, I just don't, I mean, listen, it's not, like it's private, but it's not. So I feel like if he's going to propose to her, someone's going to get the picture, right? Unless, what is he going to do? Propose in the hotel room? No, the maybe on the most non thing. A private beach. Right, but someone will get that picture. On a private beach? Someone got a picture of them on a dock. That's true, but it's not a private dock. I'm actually a little bit surprised that we haven't seen more visual content come out from this trip. I think It makes me wonder if they're spending a lot of time behind closed doors. In the hotel room? Why wouldn't you? I mean, are I'm, they shocking up? No, yeah, I'm, that's where I would they're be. They're just in bed all day? Uh, why not? Um, or, like, I, it's just kind of weird because, like, it was, it's been a few days since we saw the, vi- the alleged picture of them in the water together. Mm-hmm. The other thing that is interesting to me is the paps are really good about following them. Mm-hmm. There's been no prof- professional paparazzi pictures and from this trip. We got paparazzi pictures of her and Joe Allen, so maybe they just like rented out an island. It really makes, yeah, it you really know? makes me wonder. Like, I, I do believe that people close to them are really letting them just enjoy this trip, want it to be as private as possible because they're getting engaged. I think I'm right. Well, I think you should look into it. If you're right, I might have to take you out to drink. <laughs> oh, we could do it anyway. I'll take you um, out to drink. Listen, I don't know. I mean, I have spoken to the people that told me, because that story was like, what, a couple months ago that we did the story about them, the people close to them not thinking they're going to get engaged, at least not anytime soon. And I've checked in and I've, you know, I keep asking because I'm like, well. Okay. Here's, People close to p- fans of theirs really do believe that it's going to happen. Yeah, they really do. Here's why I think. But I do also think they're still in a honeymoon phase. It hasn't been a, hasn't been a full year. Usually people get engaged at the year mark when they're in their 30s. Here's why I think that I'm right. And this is, you I, you might not know about this. So our next breaking story mm-hmm. is that Travis was on the New Heights podcast with Jason Kelsey. Mm-hmm. They were talking about Victor Wembemyama. Have mm-hmm. you seen this? No. So they said that basically they feel like Victor Wembemyama is so tall and so good that he was basically, what do they call it? grown in a lab so right. they're talking about like lab grown diamonds and like how they're perfect and now like eventually we're gonna get like lab grown babies because we just want perfect kids and travis says i can't wait till i fucking have one a baby okay this is another thing i sound so negative right now oh my god i don't picture travis kelsey having kids right now right also, I don't picture- and if they were to have a kid together what what she's gonna carry the baby jumping around on tour for the next year rihanna went on tour with a baby i mean Beyonce yeah Beyonce went on tour with possible a baby. i guess um pink probably went on tour with a baby fair i guess Rih- yeah rihanna did the super bowl with yes pregnant. i mean taylor's dancing we all know is fantastic um, but also we saw that rihanna wasn't as moving and grooving. there's a lot of standing still and yeah just shaking parts of her body i'm a t- rihanna super bowl it is possible stand, though but- I mean, it was one of my favorites, People Rihanna. So, um, th- well, okay. So, so more evidence. Mm-hmm. I'm coming at you with the facts. You, today, I'm telling baby. you, you know, you know this beat more than I do. When Not you say I have all the tea, no, it's you have the tea on this beat. Screaming. So, Harrison Buckter, mm-hmm. who is the Chiefs kicker, right, said, "I hope they get married and start a family." People around them sensing it. The teams are and PR listen, people. It's, it's fair. For him to say that because he's around Travis, parties with him probably off off the field. Yeah. He overhears things in the locker room uh-huh. that Travis says. I hope they get married and so start they're putting a it out in the universe. Yeah. 
Travis is saying, I can't wait to have my own kid. I think after the Eras tour, they're going to settle down and have a baby. And you have to remember, I mean, he just bought that gorgeous new home. You think, and they, and she lives in the suburbs. Life. She loves Kansas. They have plenty she, of room for a nursery. Oh, multiple she, nurseries. She's been on camera saying, "My favorite place in the world is Kansas." I, you think they would live in Kansas? I think they'd go between Kansas and Nashville, because I do. Even though Nashville is like a big city, I can't imagine her house is like right in Nashville, yeah, like outside. So I do feel like she, they're like sub. Bourbon people like they're like they like the suburbs, right? Mom and dad. Yeah, and I feel like Kansas soccer mom City would, and dad. Like they love them so much that like Kansas City would, would take, embrace. They would take care and like block out all the like people. They would allow them to have a family and a saving. I definitely think they wouldn't settle down in one city. Yeah. They're too they're too much of a power couple, and they both have ties to Hollywood, you know, Nashville, Hollywood, and now. Kansas City, Ugh. I think they would be splitting their time between all the cities. I think T Taylor Swift will be pregnant with her first child in a year five from now? years. Five years. Oh, no. You don't think a year from now? I went a little wild. Okay. They are going to get married. Five years and a long time. They're going to get married in a year from now, and she'll be pregnant a year later, so two years from now. Okay. Okay? Okay. Should okay. I take that back to my sources and say, do we think it's going to... <laughs> Maybe be in a, in a couple years, the engagement. No, the engagement is happening now. Okay. That's what I think. Okay. All right. This is my favorite story Tell me. Uh, of the day, really. So Taylor Swift mm -hmm. and Travis Kelsey watch trash television together. And this shocks me. Why? For her. Him, it tracks. No. For I mean, her, it tracks. No offense, Travis, if they see this, because I know. This podcast is viral hit with the Ooh. fans. I just, he's a little bit white trash. Am I getting so, in trouble for saying that? I don't so it think makes so. sense that he watches reality TV. He's gone on record. We all have a little bit of white trash in us because we all watch reality TV. Oh, I love I will tell you, I have never watched an episode of Love is Blind, which everyone thinks I'm crazy, you but I haven't crazy. caught up and binged it. You're nuts. But I mean, for Love is Blind and the people that create it, can you imagine? It's like Taylor and Travis watch your show. Can you I imagine know. being a contestant on the show and knowing that Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are watching your season? This makes me want to go on Love is Blind just so that Taylor Swift would know who I was. Like we need to get Chelsea's reaction. No, we got it. Oh, oh we oh, have it. Tell me. So let me tell you. So okay. so Travis is on record saying he okay. doesn't watch TV. Mm -hmm. And he is on his New Heights podcast telling Jason... You've got to watch this show. It's trash. It's worse than Catching Kelsey, his dating show. It, that was horrible. He said it's the best fucking show ever. Uh huh. So then he goes on to, Ch Chelsea calls it impersonate. I call it mocking and making fun of. Okay. So watch this clip of Travis and Jason talking about this. Okay. Jason, you got to watch Love is Blind, man. It is the worst trash ever. It's worse than Catching Kelsey, but it is so good honestly i just want you to watch the one girl and to just hear her not watching oh my god jason no please. i'm not watching that trash i'm not encouraging netflix or any of these other subscription channels to make any more of this nonsense bull i'm coming to philly we're gonna watch together we're, i'm coming <laughs> You think I'm clingy? I'm clingy. Really? So he like is making fun of her being like, you think I'm clingy? Because there's an episode where she's yelling at Jimmy being like, I'm not clingy. And she's like, he's like, you're clingy, you're clingy. I love this for them. I love this for Travis and Taylor that they are essentially watching reality. They're like TV. everyone else. It's amazing. They're sitting home watching trash TV. That they're everyday people. We all love reality TV. We all have a little bit of white trash in us for watching these people. They're and normal couples. These crazy people's lives. It's also great for the show. Well, Chelsea reacted to this on video and said that she's mortified that Travis is impersonating her and she begs him to please stop Would you be mortified? I don't think you'd be mortified. I would take it in. Uh, Two superstars, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, watching your show. No one's mortified. I, I wouldn't. I would personally not be mortified. I would be bittersweet because tr just Travis is so hot, and the fact that like this. So you haven't seen the show, but she looks horrible. Really ridiculous, pathetic. 
like so insecure. The whole storyline was her, and the fact that Travis Kelsey is seeing you at your worst moments. Yeah, but now she pivots, right? Chelsea's gonna pivot, yeah. and now she's gonna grab on to the fact. Travis that. Kelsey, find me a man Travis. that won't make me feel insecure. Like won't she needs to come out and beg him to like, how can I meet you or something? How can you set me up with one of your set friends, me up with Travis? one of your player, your teammates? Bring me to when they come back. When the season comes back, bring me to a game. Bring me to a Let me sit in the box with Taylor. Let me show Set you me who up. I really am. That's how she pivots from this. Chelsea, time to pivot, baby. We feel like we're like her dating coach. <laughs> this is how you pivot from this mortifying situation. You should be a PR specialist. Oh, God. She can call me. Call, call, <laughs> call Brendan. We'll fix you up. I mean, it is, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. I do like that he admits, admits though, that... His E show, um, is the dating show garbage. was. I yeah. gotta watch it. I haven't seen it. It's so crazy to think that he was that and had the E dating show, and it was like so cringe. And now he dates Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh, it's you cannot compare. Some people really just get you, it. You cannot pivot like that. show for you we have our travis update we have a big uh uh tortured poets department theory and we have a fun fact that will shake it off shake it up leave you shaken a and my favorite segment of the uh of the day we hear you um so let's get into our travis update shall we sure. you want to leave this off this is smarter than a fifth grader smarter than a fifth grader. here we go Hit it. So I think it's interesting. So a report came out and they're basically saying that Travis is in talks to be the host of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Which obviously we all know was Jeff Foxworthy's show. Yes. Which And Jeff was great at it. Yeah. But I love that the show is like, we're going to lean into Travis Kelsey because he's the biggest thing right now. Yes. And it's a celebrity version. And you know the producers of the show are probably thinking, well, if we can get Travis here, does Taylor come along to one of the tapings? Oh, she's coming to the taping. How brilliant would that be? Oh, she's coming to the taping. This is like brilliant. Wild. Our producers, producers are doing this. Thinks, our producer on the show, Wild, mm -hmm. thinks that Taylor could, they're hoping that Taylor will be one of the contestants. I mean, when the boyfriend's hosting the show. She's got to be on the grand finale. He's got to bring her. Yeah. She'll at least show up to the taping. I agree. That's actually real because it is the celebrity version. So it's not like, you know, she's not just going to come and sit in the audience. They're going to bring her up there. They're going to. So they're going to. And you know he's going to be able to convince her. Yes. Hey, I think, Taylor, you're my girlfriend. I think she'll be hesitant because she doesn't want to take the shine away from him. But if mm. you save it for the finale, he gets the whole show. And then, boom, she's like the fireworks. At he the does end. a whole season. And then they save her because then they'll have really solid ratings every episode. Mm -hmm. And then you tease at the end. Uh-huh. So this version is celebrity um, participants only. It's, right. It's celebrities against fifth graders. And we should point out that right now the report claims that he's only in talks and that, you know, the contract hasn't been signed and the deal's still in the works, but... Don't you think that's only because he's trying to get more money, though? It's probably like a money negotiating tactic. But it, the deal has to be close because Branson, who works with us... Great. ...did a little digging on the internet and found... Um, that, you know, the everyday public, you know, for all these kind of shows here in Hollywood, a lot of people that are visiting Hollywood tourists, they have the opportunity to go and sit in the audience and be a part of the audience. In fact, for this show, they're paying audience members a hundred dollars. A hundred bucks? A mere hundred bucks. To see to Travis in Kelsey audience. in real life? In real life. They're filming at like Sony Studios or whatever in Culver City. And the filming, according to this this listing that Branson found, they start filming the show like April 4th, which is two weeks from uh, the day of us recording this today. So, I mean, God, they got to lock down that contract. But he's supposed to be on set filming it in two weeks. This is, this is, th he's more Brilliant valuable for him. To, to them than they are to him. And he's they're going to give him what he wants. He's, they're going to give him what he wants. And literally, I would pay $100 just to go to this taping. There's no way the producers I behind this aren't going to give him what he wants. People they know that every week they're going to get a ton of publicity off of this, not only based on whoever the celebrity guest is, but also having Travis Kelsey. I will tune into every single Tied to the show. project. You're golden. 
They said that PR they, win for the show. They said that they were worried that he couldn't do it because of if he returns to the NFL, how is his schedule gonna work the out? The thing is with like these shows, as you and I know, working in Hollywood, <laughs> you can bang out a couple episodes a day. a day. Yeah. Who knows? They might they might literally film the entire season in one or two days. Yeah. But for Travis, he's still probably gonna get a really nice paycheck. Oh. He's gonna get a nice Shiny paycheck. Couple milli. At least. At least. I mean, if I were his agents, I'd be like, you got him. Just pay him. Yeah. 2.5. 2.5? We'll knock it out two or three days. You get all your episodes done. Plow through them. I, I'm not even kidding. Would Every be Swift. This show is going to be the best show on TV. Everyone's going to watch it. I'm going to be hanging on his every word. He is going to solidify himself as Hollywood's next guy. And this is why I kind of like makes me like just not totally go, going back to the Bahamas, but just to make a point, it kind of like I thought thought about this now. I kind of think that the reason we a lot hasn't come out from the Bahamas trip is also the fact that their teams and people around them don't even need to like be pushing PR. Mm. They're always getting PR. This relationship is like the hottest relationship out of Hollywood right now. It's the hottest thing. They don't need their PR teams working overtime to, you know, push narratives or push information out. You know, we don't need people telling us. And I love that everyone. Because we'll get it. We'll get it. I love when that they everyone, want us to get it. Everyone thought that like this was gonna fizzle out, like the 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 taste, the yep. hunger, the thirst for everything right. Taylor Travis was gonna die out. It's a hundred miles per hour weather. People are oh, we're, talking. We're just getting on the freeway. It's only starting. And then I think like once they like get back from because I do think like also like, you know, Taylor has all that drama and the safety with the private jets and all that. Yeah. They gotta protect her too. Yeah. You know? But I'm excited for him doing this show. And I think like the whole like, oh, he's in talks. It'll happen. It's happening. Let's be honest. He's going to host the show. They're not going to let him slip through as the host. They will pay. Uh, honestly, at this point, the press that they will get, the show, the ratings, just pay him what he asks for. Just give it no to him. No offense, them. Jeff Foxworthy. You were great when you hosted it. He, you got, he's got. But they need, they need Travis right now. It'll be be great for them. And he's like, he, we don't even know if he's smarter than a fifth grader. He's perfect. And then what you do is you bring like Jeff back for like the next season or something because the Travis will have built uh, up a ton of press for the show well, and then the you reboot off, the original or whatever. No, on the non celebrity. Season, yes, yes. While he's playing football, bring Jeff Fox for the yep. version back. And then when he's done with football again, swap back and forth. Yep. You are a I know we've genius. been. I know we've been trying to get a hold of Jeff to find out what he thinks about all of this. I'd be curious to know if Jeff and... Travis have spoken. If Jeff's given him a couple pointers, a couple pointers for hosting the show, I'm obsessed. I know, Brendan. When we have the update, we'll let you know. You're bringing it. <laughs> uh, Makes me want to put one of these on. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should have worn this one. You this is here during the whole episode. This is here for your enjoyment, and and if you want to just wear, throw one, it on, throw it on. Oh my god! Please throw it on. I love it. So Travis has Taylor constantly on the brain. He was on New Heights again with Jason uh, Kelsey. And they were breaking down some football mumbo jumbo. Who really cares? But this guy Kenny, um, who was on the Pittsburgh Steelers in Philadelphia, no, in Pennsylvania. I always get confused. Is Philadelphia the state or the city? Um, that he was on the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. He's been traded to the Philadelphia Eagles, Jason Kelsey's former team. Apparently, this guy Kenny wanted off of the Pittsburgh Steelers team. He wanted to leave. So they were like, fine. He signs with the Philadelphia Eagles. Travis is explaining this and goes, oh, yeah, Kenny had bad blood. Kenny and the Steelers, their relationship ended in a little bad blood because yeah. Kenny is um, saying he preferred to move on. What do you make of this? I mean, everyone is like so like, because I, I just think of like Taylor Swift. You think of like, you know, Swifties as like, mainly being women, but I know she has a ton of male fans. And now I'm like, it's so crazy. Like, all these masculine men I love it. that play sports like, are, like, obsessed with Taylor Swift. The reality is, is they're 
bumping these yeah. hits in the locker room. Like now all of these football players are just like, shake it off, a oh, shake it off. It also makes you wonder like behind the scenes, how many of these players are like dying or are, are like begging their sports agents to get them to get traded to the Kansas City Chiefs <laughs> so they can play with Travis and like, have Taylor at all of their games. Or even the Philadelphia Eagles would come in a handy yeah. second. Okay, fun fact of the day. Taylor Swift fans really know how to shake it up and shake it off. So when she was in LA for her Eras tour at SoFi Stadium, there was um, a recorded earthquake on August 5th due to, and it, and it happened during the song Shake It Off. So there was a study conducted by Caltech and UCLA by semologist Gabrielle Tepp. They monitored the ground um, at, at SoFi or five miles around SoFi, whatever. The tremors equated to a magnitude two earthquake, which is relatively small, um, but it was within five miles of SoFi Stadium. Uh, and well, that's so crazy. Like the timing is bizarre. Why? I mean, like the fact that they, she it was in the middle of her singing "Shake It Off." Like, oh, the timing. Yeah. I'm like, well, what are the odds? Like a while, like a shake it off. A, you're like jumping. I mean, up they and do down. say in LA we have earthquakes all the time that we don't know about. A 2.3, though, seems kind of big. I don't know. Uh, two, I just think the timing is so, like, it's funny. I, during Shake It Off. During Shake It Off. I and, love that. And it was only that night. Like, Taylor, they monitored all the shows. Taylor Swift, it, like, she just knows how to make a headline. It's, she, like, so, it's amazing. She knows how to shake, shake it up. It could have also been caused by the fact that all her fans were jumping at the stadium. No, it was caused and, by that. And not just the earth? No, she caused the earthquake. Okay. She caused it. Okay. She is an earthquake queen. You and the fun fact. You with the fun <laughs> fact tea. Did you go to Eris? I didn't. Oh. I will say, here's the thing. I like her music. Yeah. I do like Taylor a lot more than I like her newer stuff, but I do like Taylor's music. I do. Midnight's was one of the best albums of all I time. I do. She, and she's a brilliant, she's brilliant at marketing herself. Don't you love Girl it? Girl knows what she's doing. I'm, she doesn't even have to do anything. Could you imagine if she broke SoFi Stadium, like cracked the ground? I Taylor mean, Swift, first woman to crack SoFi Stadium. It, nothing would shock me with her. The nothing. woman has set so many records, won every award you could win X amount of times. I mean, she's brilliant. You're her biggest fan. Love it. Um, I could hate on her, but I can't. You can't. She's brilliant. Why would you? No. So our final segment of the day, we hear you. Okay. Um, Nikki Hendry, our clearance girl, was on the podcast on Tuesday talking about how um, Taylor's demographic is only like 9 to 30. People online have come for Nikki. Thank you for that, by the way. I don't I, – see, I wouldn't – believe that though i think her fan base is like every age you could imagine oh people are in the comments being like i'm the youngest a to the old. oldest i'm an 80 year old i'm a 60 year old i live for taylor's music that's i firmly believe that i don't think there's any like specific demographic she, what did she say not nine, nine to thirty oh no 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 i disagree with her on that and people also said in the comments that her I'm fans are spread very wide very wide i don't think she has a specific demo People said that I look 34 going on 64. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to be the, f you are literally like, not to get really like deep and dark right now. Go ahead. You will have Taylor Swift music playing at your funeral, oh, at your wedding, please. at everything. My opening wedding song, the theme of, I'll have a Taylor Swift theme wedding. I'll have a Taylor Swift theme You know, funeral. there's diehard fans that have had it played at their funeral that are 90 to 100. I, I don't think she has any specific demographic. Taylor's fans ride hard. This. Till the day they're and done. This music will go on literally till the, till the the world stops spinning. Yes. Yeah. She is an icon. A once in a beyond an icon. A, I don't know what the word for that would be, but she a once in a universe artist. I don't think I. It's gonna be hard. She's like Beyonce. Oh 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 oh. oh. Actually, now that Wild's sitting over there cackling it up, <laughs> our producer. I, He's like, they finally got a little bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> right at the end. <laughs> right at the end. I played him champagne problems because he did not believe that Taylor was sweared, swore. I played him the song where she says, "I'm fucked in the head," and he goes, "Damn, this is a jam." Which kind of shocks me too, because she doesn't seem like the person that would. Oh, she say words like that. She's like a sailor. All right, I well, could see her being a sailor. Oh, I love it. All right, that's Brandon it for Mal. us, Brendan. Thanks for having me. You were one of our best guests of all I, time. Thank you, Mal. Let's go, Brendan.
in. We Next love- time I come back, I hope I have an update for you. Oh, on that engagement. I know you will. Go make some calls. Make some calls, baby. I know you want positive news. So. We only want positive Taylor and Travis news. Um, Brendan will skip off and get an update, and he'll be back. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. <laughs>